This is a tale of a Canadian, a quilt and a small New Zealand community. They've all come together for an emotional reunion in the Moneymore Hall. Now, if you don't know where that is, Moneymore is a rural district just out of Milton, a little north of Balclutha. Six decades ago, the women of Moneymore made the quilt and sent it to their boys at the war. Now, unbelievably, the quilts come home. Jendi Harper has their story. Chin up, cheerio, carry on, marching to victory. And this can't last, but the fighting did. This quilt made two years before the end of World War II, stitched together, sent in a Red Cross container, bound for an army hospital bed in Italy or Egypt. Messages of hope and support for our boys abroad. Now the quilt is coming home. How hard is it going to be for you to part with it? Not at all. Not at all. Yeah, it doesn't belong to me. Andrea Burns has been the Canadian custodian of the quilt gifted to her by a friend. Well, I sort of stepped up to the plate. It was almost uh, spontaneous combustion because the person who gave it to me, we both recognised its value, how much it would mean to the people who came from that community to have it back. It just. It just seemed like a natural thing to do. It's taken Andrea two years to find the quilt makers and fundraise to get to the other side of the world to money more, South Otago. <laughs> Tell me what's, what's going through your mind now. I feel pretty calm. I feel, as I said earlier, I feel like the queen. Elizabeth was already inside watching over a spread fit for a special guest and a hall full of locals, some of them quilt survivors. I put my brother's name on it too as well and my mother's name was on it but why dad wasn't put on it I don't know. <laughs> These are women who'd wondered where the quilt had gone hoping this Canadian stranger could fill in the gaps. Oh, I'm pleased to meet you. Yes. Do you know Nancy Ellison? Nancy. Yes. You still live in the area then Michael? Yes I'm in Milton. Yes. All Andrea can tell them is the quilt was found in a Californian flea market in 1981. Anything earlier is a blank. Oh, oh is that where it was found? Oh, California. And now it is home. You just wish it could talk, don't you? It could tell us something, couldn't it? Hanging in the very hall where the Red Cross ladies met during the war years. And I said, had we count up on the old fingers and reckon <laughs> I must have been about 15 when that was just done. I can see you put a lot of work into that one, all right. <laughs> it's over there with the pansies on it. Ah, oh, kind thoughts. Yeah. Edna Thornthwaite, Round Hill, Clarks. Yeah, the Round Hill was the name of the farm. <laughs> oh, and this is T. Moyer, Clarks. Well, that would be the green yeah, mark. So some of these names are familiar to you? Every one of them. Every one of them. Oh, it's lovely to see it. I got my camera to take a photo. <laughs> Many were too young to remember. Their mothers stitched their names for them. This one, that's me. For Andrea, today was about putting faces to names. This elaborate crest, one of her favourite squares, now she knows what the MN means. Merchant Navy. What did you think of that? Yeah, I don't think of it. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Knew somebody in it, probably. <laughs> Peggy was 27 when she stitched her square. Yeah, it was a fundraiser. And we paid so much for each square and took it home. And then with that money, you see, they'd buy something for all the boys going overseas. They all got a parting gift. Because I remember one of them, the man that was doing it, I thought it was poor of him, but then I didn't know. He said, they gave them all a razor. And he said, you'll all have a lot of tight shaves when you're away. Because there was quite a lot of men went away from here. A lot didn't come back, which was a pity. Some sunny day. But their wartime quilt has returned. A cause for celebration, a time for thanks. I am sure, as we read the names on it, they will mean so much to all of you. So spare a thought for our boys who went overseas. Once again, many thanks, Andrea, for all you have done. God bless you and thank you. Yeah. Most definitely.
trying to keep it together, but as soon as I made physical contact when one of the ladies was thanking me, yeah, uh, game over, I lost it. Cause she said in my ear, I love you. Thank you. I'm right here. Well, four of the families represented on the quilt still live in the Moneymore district and the quilt's final resting place will be in the Milton Museum.